Hi there, good evening. Welcome to Glasgow. We are two weeks down. We have already had two different winners, four different finalists. So who said the Premier League is boring? Certainly not these two. Waymar is all about ghetto and price in Cardiff. Let's remind you of what happened last week. Right, kicking off the night, our first quarter final, it's Nathan Aspinall up against Michael Van Gerwen. Coming up very shortly, it is uh, Dimitri Vandenberg up against Nathan Aspinall. As three different winners, six different finalists. Admit it, it's pretty exciting, isn't it? We'll see you in Dublin. Find out, see if Wayne is right. Michael Smith against Dimitri Vandenberg in tonight's final here in Glasgow. So Mark Webster alongside me. Mark, it's been exciting, it's been unpredictable, yet it's just yet. The guys are not into their full routine and rhythm. And last what was really good about Godwin Price last week, because we both chatted to him after, and he was so happy. It was just good to see him enjoying himself on this stage. Yeah, he's absolutely right. He won that night last week. He also won, uh, made the final at a couple of the, the World Series events in January. Do we kind of down do it? But he looked more relaxed last week, even though there was loads of pressure on him. But now I think we may see a change in him, a bit like we have Dimitri Vandenberg, who's playing a different game, in my opinion. And I'm not saying change. It can happen. It, it can, can happen. change, yeah. And I think darts with... Uh, with uh, get him. ...of the order of play for tonight, then the draw for night three here. Michael Van Gogh and against Nathan Aspinall, who in the quarterfinals and semi-finals last week was absolutely brilliant. You mentioned his one forty word on, on the bottom half of the draw, someone we haven't mentioned, Johnny Clayton, who, like Peter Wright, he needs points. Maybe wouldn't would have been quite disappointed with how he performed last week, but he had a good run at one of the players' championships on the weekend, made it to a semi-final, which should help his confidence here tonight, shouldn't it? Yeah, he was nervy last week, wasn't he? Now, that, what, why not an, an each way place? Because if he makes early for yeah. me. Mm. Um, who's your night three winner then? Uh, what we're saying, when Michael Van Gogh has been knocking on the door the first couple of weeks, it's a matter of time for me, but he wins. I think he'll get the job done. So maybe him and Michael Smith in a final, but MVG to win. Yeah. Well, what you are going to hear from me, and it's <laughs> going to be monotonous, right? Yeah. If he'll win, I think he'll win probably four or five of the nights. You are so predictable. Yeah, I know. So predictable. I'm reliable, um, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> reliably wrong a lot of the time. Uh, the final for Johnny Clayton, he really looked the part, didn't he? It's some of the best starts we've seen, maybe. It was a good commentary about his pace. Do you, do you think he looked like he was throwing a little bit quicker? He did. Finally got the job done against Gerwin Price. You were obviously in the comms box for that one. Number one, then, we've got Nathan Aspinall against Dimitri Vandenberg. Nathan Aspinall obviously saw off Michael Van Gogh and ended up in a last leg decider, but despite leading 4-1 at one point, Michael Van Gogh, just, just a little bit flat tonight, was, wasn't really up for it, it was, was he? really puzzling performance. This is what we keep saying, isn't it? I mean, he sits top of the table coming into the semi Vandenberg next, and we spoke to him yesterday about this new approach, and, I mean, it seems to be working for him. Yeah, got the job done. Michael Smith, Michael Van Gogh in final. I've you, completely changed my yeah, mind. Yeah, completely. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not going to be Michael Van Gogh, and I assure we'll you that. that yeah. <laughs> I think. It, I think Nathan Aspinall gets a back to back. I might say oh, that. Right. That Semi final it. number one. It was a real entertaining affair between the both of them. It's a thriller to watch. Yeah, it was a window. To be fair, not all the predictions, because you did say you thought Michael Smith would make the final. Well, yes, but I'm not clinging on to that. I, 